Madam, this boy is not learning. I pay so much school fees. I, I mean, they don't pluck money from trees. Am I not paying you enough? I pay through my nose for him to get the best education. But you see, this boy is just a disgrace. I mean, I wasn't like this when I was his age. Upon all my school fees, I tell him, okay, tell me what you understood from today's class. He can't tell me. Okay, what number do you see? I show him four, he show me two. Can you imagine, is that some spiritual problem or what? What is going on here? Okay, I say show me M, he show me O. Hmm? What is the correlation? Right? So, we need to know whether there is some spirit pursuing him, possessing him or what? Okay, read for me, he cannot read. Okay, explain what you have read. He cannot explain. He cannot do anything. So, I don't know. I've got an anointing oil. I've got in holy water. So, maybe that will do the trick. Adults present with several learning difficulties and disabilities today because these disabilities were left unattended to at infancy and at childhood. Today, most parents are left confused with the pressing needs that children struggling with learning and physical disabilities have. Some parents are left confused at this point that they resort to beatings because they feel it's behavioral. Whereas these issues stem forth from learning disabilities and physical disabilities. That frustration has led to physical abuse, them attributing it to spiritual problems, and some actually taking the bull by the horn and seeking professional help from practitioners and experts. Today, we're going to be looking at learning disabilities and learning difficulties. We'll be taking a look at the risk factors and we'll also be looking at the recommendations and possible solutions such that if you're in that situation or you know someone in that situation, you can be of help. Stay tuned and this is Kaki's vlog. Turn on post notifications, subscribe and I'll see you when we're back. According to mencap.org.uk, a learning disability is a reduced intellectual ability and difficulty with everyday tasks and activities. For example, household tasks, managing money, socializing, all these things which shape a person's life. People with learning disabilities struggle with learning. They take longer to learn and may need support in developing new skills breaking down complicated information and interacting with people. The good news is with the right support system and support, people with learning disabilities can go on later in life to achieve their dreams, live their best lives, be bosses of their own, be independent, command respect, be employed and be employable by organizations. This by far is what supporting people with learning disabilities can do for a society. The question is, what are we doing to support these people with learning disabilities? Do we know what learning disabilities look like when we see it? Do we attribute these to spiritual problems, behavioral issues, neglect? Yes, there is a strong tie with neglect and learning disabilities as we will see as the video progresses. 
Many children with learning disorders, also called learning disabilities, struggle in school long before being diagnosed. This can affect a child's self-esteem and motivation. Learning disorders can make it hard for a child to read, write, or do simple math. In children, learning difficulty usually presents in childhood and can cause a person to experience problems in traditional classroom setting. Note, it is possible for a person to have a learning disability and also have a learning difficulty. Different types of learning disabilities. They can be mild, moderate, severe, or profound. Yet, in all cases, learning disability is lifelong. It may be difficult to diagnose a mild learning disability as the person will not have any problems mixing and socializing with people and carrying out everyday tasks such as filling out forms. Some of the most common types of learning disabilities are developmental reading disorder, dyslexia. I'm sure you would have heard of that before. Reading. Learning disorders in reading are usually based on difficulty perceiving a spoken word as a combination of distinct sounds. This can make it hard to understand how a letter or letters represent a sound and how letter combinations make a word. Reading at a typical place. Understanding what they read. Recalling accurately what they read, making inferences based on their reading. Spelling. Learning disorder in reading is usually called dyslexia. Disorder of written expression, dysgraphia, like anything that is written, a book, a comic, a storybook, anything that is written, they have issues with understanding and comprehending written expression. Written expression. Writing requires complex visual, motor and information processing skills, slow and labor-intensive handwriting, and writing that's hard to read, difficulty putting thoughts into writing, otherwise known as dysgraphia, written text that's poorly organized or hard to understand, and trouble with spelling, grammar, and punctuation. Mixed receptive expressive language, mathematics operations disorder, dyscalculia. Math. A learning disorder in math is called dyscalculia, and this may cause problems with the following skills. Understanding how numbers work and relate to each other, calculating math problems, memorizing basic calculations, using math symbols, understanding word problems, organizing and recording information while solving a math problem. These are often accompanied by other disorders, especially attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, which can compound a child's learning disability by making it expressly difficult to listen, to stay still, to concentrate, to pay constant attention, to retain information, and also absorb new material. Consequently, these can lead to social problems in the child. In summary, what we're trying to get out there is, number one, learning disability is a reduced intellectual ability and difficulty with everyday tasks. So while you see some children breeze through activities, breeze through learning, they are flying with mathematics. You don't need to beat a horse for them to learn new concepts, absorb information, sit still, be quiet, listen to instructions. You know, just to be the ideal good and obedient child, right? You know, you, you see other children struggling with paying attention. You know, their, their attention span is very, very short. Um, a lot of adults have this also. And that is why at the beginning of the video, I did mention that most of these learning difficulties that are now seen in adults were not attended to. They were looked upon as though it was a taboo, it was a spiritual problem, um, there was something wrong. Innately, these are challenges that occur from childhood as we are getting to see. And so when there's the right support, when there's the right care, there's the right reinforcement with the right practitioners to help and cushion whatever it is the parents are experiencing or people in question you see that it makes it easier for everyone to get along be it in school in church social gatherings at home and growing up to be total adults so we're going to be looking at the courses of learning disabilities and difficulties from the courses we will now go down to what we are here for today 
the solution, recommendation. While we must note that most of these learning disabilities tend to be lifelong when they are severe, is also help. There's also management to cushion the effect overall. So we'll be looking at the courses and we'll also be looking at ways to help parents, ways to help practitioners, ways to help teachers, ways to help friends. Because sometimes you find out that these children with learning disabilities go through bullying from their friends in class and in school. Their friends start to make fun at them, poke fun at them, call them names, tell them that they are slow, you know, making them feel less than they are. Not knowing that indeed, everybody has their own pace, their learning capacity, and learning degree and so we need to come at this challenge with open arms we need to show love we need to understand what these things are we need to know what causes them things to avoid things to do and things to keep on doing going forward causes a learning disability or cause when the brain is still developing before during or soon after birth before birth Things can happen to the central nervous system, the brain and spinal cord that can cause a learning disability. A child can be born with a learning disability if the mother has an accident or realness while she is pregnant or if the unborn baby develops certain genes. A person can be born with a learning disability if he or she does not get enough oxygen during childbirth, has trauma to the head or is born too early. After birth, a learning disability can be caused by early childhood illnesses, accidents, and seizures. Signs of learning disabilities. Doesn't master skills in reading, spelling, writing, or math at or near expected age and grade levels. Has difficulty understanding and following instructions. Has trouble remembering what someone just told him or her. Lacks coordination in walking, sports, or skills such as holding a pencil, easily loses or misplaces homework, school books, or other items, has difficulty understanding the concept of time, resists doing homework or activities that involve reading, writing, or math, or consistently can't complete homework assignments without significant help, acts out or shows defiance, hostility or excessive emotional reactions at school or while doing academic activities such as homework or reading. Getting proactive. Firstly, early intervention is essential because the problem can snowball. A child who doesn't learn to add in elementary school would be able to tackle algebra in high school. Children who have learning disorders can also experience performance anxiety depression, low self-esteem, chronic fatigue, or loss of motivation. Some children might act out to distract attention from their challenges at school. A child's teacher, parents, or guardian, doctor, or other professionals can request an evaluation if there are concerns about learning problems. Your child will likely first have tests to rule out vision or hearing problems or other medical conditions. extra help. A reading specialist, math tutor, or other trained professional can teach your child techniques to improve his or her academic, organizational, and study skills. Individualized Education Program IEP. Public schools in the United States are mandated to provide an individual education program for students who meet certain criteria for a learning disorder. Classroom management. Classroom accommodations might include more time to complete assignments or tests, being seated near the teacher to promote attention, use of computer applications to support writing, including fewer math problems and assignments, or providing audiobooks to supplement reading. And there's therapy. Some children benefit from therapy. Occupational therapy might improve the motor skills of a child who has writing problems. A speech language therapist can also help to address language skills. In addition to the recommendations, I would say pray. 
prayer is communicating with God, is telling God, this is the problem I am facing. This is the challenge we are facing as a family. This is the challenge I am facing with this child. Please, Lord, help me. Teach me how best to help this child, to reach this child, in order for this child to feel loved, accepted, reintegrated in society, in order for this child not to run into their shelf. Because sometimes, failure to address these learning disabilities can give rise to peer pressure, to children succumbing to peer pressure, not only that, children being depressed at an early age. You see some children looking at themselves as incomplete. I'm not as smart as she is. She's getting these scores, I'm not getting these scores. We hear it all the time. We hear it all the time, children making comparisons. Can't keep on happening. For us to have a very healthy society, we also need to be raising children who have empathy, teaching them kindness, teaching them kindness in the way they speak, the way they carry on their affairs, and a whole lot more. But like I said, it's important to pray. It's important to say good words, speak good words, positive affirmations to the lives of these children. Because the adults we see today, while much help is still needed, there is little that can be done. So we just manage. We try to understand. We try to be emotionally intelligent with adults who suffer these learning disabilities. I hope this video was interesting. I hope you learned one or two things. If you did, why not give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on post notifications, share, and I'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.